Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Elizabeth. It's good to have you. Please consider subscribing and turning on your post notification bell if you are a crafter or just enjoy crafting videos. My goal at the moment is to have 2,000 of you lovely people subscribe to my channel. So please help me to achieve my goal so I can continue to bring you more crafting videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how I use the Cricut to cut out the purse pal pattern and if you would like to see how i do this stay tuned <laughs> Okay, so I'm in Cricut Design Space and I'm going to be showing you how I cut the Purse Pal by Lynn's Handmade using the Cricut. Now, when you purchase the pattern, it comes with an SVG, which makes things really, really simple and makes your life a lot easier if you don't like cutting out patterns by hand. So you can totally make this if you have a Cricut and a sewing machine. It just makes things a lot easier so I've already um, uploaded my SVG file into Cricut Design Space so I'm just going to pull that into my uh, canvas so I'm clicking upload here on the left panel and here are uh, the files for my uh, purse pal so I'm just going to click all of them the tab the liner the zipper pocket and the slip pocket and I'm going to add it to canvas so it's coming all together I'm actually going to change the color of this for now just so it's just not black okay and I'm going to deal with each um, element one by one so I'm going to just turn these ones off for now so now I am left with the exterior uh, slip pocket and if I click on it you can see there's a little square here and this little square just verifies that you have bought in the file at the correct size so if I go up here and just ungroup it I am able to select that little square which tells me up here it is one inch by one inch so I know that my file is the correct size I can delete that because I don't need to cut that out now with this slip pocket I'm going to be using my fine point blade and I'm going to be using vinyl or leatherette and these circles are really tiny and I don't want my blades to kind of do a horrible cut so I'm going to be punching these holes out by hand in order to do that I need to remove these holes but before I do that I just need to make sure that I know when it's time for me to cut it out I know where to punch my holes so I'm going to go over here to my shapes and just select a circle so it's coming really big I'm going to resize this and in fact, I'm going to just make my screen a little bit bigger, just so we can see. Right, so if I bring this circle over here, we can see it's way too big. So I'm gonna resize it. So I'm actually gonna resize it over here. I know roughly what size those circles are, and it's 0 0.132. Okay, my padlock was on, so aspect ratio is on. And if I put that over my circle, like that, let me zoom in a little bit more. You can see it covers it really well there. So I'm covering that circle just as a guide so that I know where to punch out my uh, circles at the end so I need to do that I need to repeat it for every single one of these but if I look up here because I've got this little circle selected it says basic cut I don't want it to cut it 
I'm actually going to be drawing this with my pen so I'm going to select pen and we can see the pen is now selected now I'm going to just duplicate that because I need 13 of them I think so I'm going to do another 12 Okay, so on my right hand panel here, you can see that I have uh, various circles here, which are covering my existing circle. Okay, so I have them all covered, so I know where to punch my holes by hand. Now I'm going to turn or remove or delete the existing uh, circles. So I'm just going to click on this whole piece here, this whole pocket piece here, so you can see it's selected here, exterior slip pocket, and I'm going to go into contour. So in contour, I can literally remove all of these circles. So just by clicking on them, you can see when I click on a circle, that it may change color, so let's have a go. So I've clicked that one and you can see that that one there had grayed out. So I'm just going to select all of these circles. And everything else will stay. So these little lines are going to stay because those I want cut. Now that I've removed all the circles, I'm going to X out of there. And I'm going to select this whole thing, including all of my circles. So they're all selected and I'm going to click attach. And it's really important that we click attached. so that when you go on to make it, it doesn't then move all your circles about like what Cricut normally does. So you need to have that attached. Okay, and I might just, just for the sake of it, no, I don't need to group it. So it's an attached uh, file. So if I click it, everything is as one piece. So that's that one done. I'm gonna hide that one for now. And then I'm just going to go in and deal with the other um, pieces. So my exterior zipper pocket. Again, I don't need this square, so let us ungroup it. Click on the square just to verify it is the correct size, one inch by one inch and I can get rid of that. And also, I only want it to cut one of the tabs because I find that um, after I've sewn the tabs together, it can be uneven, which makes it a lot difficult. So what I normally do is I cut one tab and then I just cut out a rectangle. And when I sew the two pieces together, I can then cut around um, cut around the tab so that I have even edges. So I'm gonna get rid of one of these, delete that. Again, I'm going to, actually I'm just going to get rid of this circle because I can use my pattern piece to um, locate exactly where I want this uh, circle to be. So I'm just gonna get rid of that, go into contour, and just remove this circle. So I have all my pieces done. So I'm just gonna bring them all onto the canvas. So my liner. And 
my slip pocket and there's one more my zipper pocket which is here lovely so as for my uh, liner I'm going to actually change the color of that because I'm going to be cutting that out uh, with a uh, cotton fabric so I'm just going to select that and let's just change the color just so that I can properly select let's give it a nice bright yellow okay brilliant and I'm going to actually hide it for now and I'm going to cut these other pieces so actually I'm going to actually change this one let's change this one also so my zipper pocket I'm going to change the color of that let's make it purple lovely right so let's make it So I'm actually going to mirror this because I'm going to put my, uh, my vinyl face down because turning it the other way just causes issues on the mat. So because I'm turning it face down and I still want these to be on the right hand side, I need to mirror this. So I'm going to mirror that one. So now it's flipped it. And I'm also going to mirror this one also. I mean, I don't really have to, but let's just do that anyway. Now that that is done, I'm going to hit continue. So for my vinyl, I'm going to actually go into browse material. And I'm going to go into my search and just type in leather. And I use the faux leather paper thin and I apply more pressure. So I'm gonna click done. Go into my pressure and just click more. And I need to remember to load my pen to draw my circles and it will do the cutting for me. So I'm going to take you to the machine where we are going to cut out the leatherette or the vinyl. Okay, so I'm going to be using my strong grip mat, which is the purple one. And I'm going to be placing my vinyl or leatherette on there I could have cut this as one piece but I don't know I accidentally cut it as two pieces so this is going to be for the snap tab and this is going to be for the actual uh, slip pocket so I'm just going to place that on my mat so I've put it face down as I explained earlier and I'm going to be adding I mean it's a strong grip mat but I'm just going to add just a little bit of masking tape just in case it decides to shift okay so just like that and hopefully it won't shift I am now going to attach my pen tool into clamp A and I'm actually going to move my star wheels out of the way like so Okay, I'm going to now put my mat in.
and cut. So before I unload my mat, I just need to check that it's cut all the way through and it hasn't, it hasn't cut all the way through. So I'm going to do that one more time. So now I want to cut my lining fabric which is cotton so we need a different setting and a different mat so I'm just going to turn all these other ones off and turn on my liner fabric. So here's my liner fabric, let's go to make it. Again, I just mirror this. I mean, I don't have to because this is dead in the center, but I'm going to mirror it because I'm going to place my cotton fabric face down because I've got some interfacing on the back. Hit continue. And then I'm going to browse materials. Type in cotton. Or fabric type in fabric and it brings you a whole load of different types of fabric and I'm just going to look for cotton and here we go cotton and done and it's asking me to add my rotary blade which I'm going to do into clamp B and Okay, so here are all my pieces. So I've got that one with the holes not punched out. I'm going to show you how I punched that out in a minute. There's the tab, the cotton fabric, which is going to be the lining, and then the zipper pocket. So I'm just going to show you how I cut or punch the holes. I have this Japanese uh, punch here and it comes with different dies. So I just simply go over where I have marked. So if I pull you in a little bit closer. So I'm just going to be going over the holes. So putting my punch over the holes and then simply just pushing down and then it punches the hole out for you. So I'm just going to finish this off. Okay, so these are all the holes punched out. And it just makes it easier because I find that when you use the um, fine blade, because I use the flying blade for this, it makes the holes really uneven and jaggedy. And now I've got nice uniform holes and I don't need to worry about the actual pen marks on there because it's going to be folded over and you won't see any of it. That's what it looks like from the back side. Let me just put something black at the back. So you could see the holes even better. So that is it. As far as the tab, I've got some um, stabilizer here. This is Decaville Light. I've cut a really thin strip, which I'm going to be ironing onto my cutout tab 
just to stabilize this because this is going to have a um a snap on it and you don't want it to kind of like wear out the fabric as you kind of pull and snap so that will be placed in the middle and then i'm just going to put that on the other side and i will be stitching around it and then cut in so that everything is nice and even that's why i didn't cut two of these out initially because i find that it makes the edges a little bit uneven so i might actually pick this side to be my front because i'm not really liking that side so that will be my back so that is it i have a video up on the channel already of me making a pen pal i will link it at the top can't remember which side <laughs> this side or this side i will link it anyway so you can um go and have a look at that so that's it see you soon so if you found this video interesting or useful please like and subscribe if you haven't yet done so and turn on your post notification bell and make sure you check all so you never miss an upload from me Please feel free to interact with the comment section by leaving any comments, questions or any suggestions about any videos that I should do in the comment section below. You're also welcome to join our Facebook group, it's Craft Junkie Studio and I will leave the link in the description box below. And as always, don't have a good day, have an amazing day. Till next time, bye!